What's going on guys? Steve Briggs, Anarchy Audio Works. Got a nice quick video for you today. I've had a few people asking me how to prepare tracks to give to mastering engineers. So I'm gonna run you through it real quick. Now I'm using Ableton Live 10 Suite at the moment, but the same steps will apply to whether you're using Cubase or Logic or whatever. It just might be in slightly different menus, but you'll, you'll get the idea. Uh, so basically what we're gonna do, I've got the track here. So if we go to my master channel here, you can see I've already got EQ, compressor, stereo imaging, and limiters, and all that kind of stuff. What we want to make sure before we send it to any mastering engineers is that all of these plugins are bypassed, so give them a nice fresh pre-master to work with. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to select the plugin first in the chain, and select the one last in the chain while holding shift on my keyboard, and that should grab all of them at the same time. Right click, group, and then that'll give us a nice grouped bunch of plugins there so we could just turn it off with one button instead of turning them all off one by one so we've got all the plugins turned off so what we want to do now we want to make sure that the engineer's got a bit of headroom to, to work with uh most engineers like about minus four db some ask for minus six so it's good to go somewhere in between so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go find the main drop of the track where it's going to be you know the loudest peaking the most about there i'll probably do so, I'm going to go into the mixer section. So here, you can see as it's at zero, it's actually peaking at minus 1.53. So what we want to do is we want to just pull this fader down, keep refreshing that readout there so it gives us an accurate number. You can see that's peaking out about minus seven. So let's turn that up slightly. It doesn't have to be dead on, just somewhere around between minus six and minus four. Well, I'm gonna go with that, that's about right. So what we wanna do next is we wanna export this out to a WAV file. We're gonna to go to export audio video. So we wanna make sure that our dither is turned off. We want bit depth to be 24 bits, file type WAV, and we wanna be at 44.1, and we want the rendered track to come from the master output. And then all we're gonna do is hit export, we're going to go to our file, name it, and you want to add in the extension at the end, just so the mastering engineer knows what format it's in. Minus 6 dB, 24-bit pre-master. This track actually is my Dark Font remix of Tarmac featuring Ted and Jerry's Get Down Low, and this is going to be out on 4th of September on Lindell Music Group. I'll put the link in the description because it'll probably be out by the time I upload this video. Let me know what you think. So now all we're going to do is just click save and that is going to render out our track. I'm going to put V2 here because I've already done a pre-master. I'm just going to hit save and that's going to render out our track. Now our file's exported. So let's go back to the folder where we just saved it to. And there it is. All you need to do now is just upload that to your master engineer. Job done. And thanks for watching. I hope that's helped some of you out. If you like what I do, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel out so I can carry on making awesome content for you guys. Thanks again. See you next time.